Hello everyone, so I am going to give my review on the Vapid Rattle with the price of $1.8 million. Customization on this vehicle. Well, it is off-road vehicle, so you don't really expect too much of many options, but there is some unique options for this vehicle. So that's very nice. And you do have liveries, that's a big thing for off-road vehicles generally. So you do have a lot there, so that's great to see there. So it pretty much has the most important things pretty much you would need for off-road vehicle, but no extras. Taking the vehicle in the rain, I'd say it definitely handles decently really well. So that's good to see. So if you ever want to take it in the rain, you can. It should not spin out. It can, but very rarely, I would say, in my opinion. So as long as you drive it normally, of course, don't go too crazy, then it should handle the road fine. It shouldn't spin out. And you can go to the near the top speeds with it without much problems or any problems at all. Taking this vehicle on the road, it handles great to be honest. It's great for off-road vehicle here. It is not much any problems, very little. It's not much to complain. It gets the job done. It's good acceleration. The top speed is pretty speedy as well for it. Yeah, you'll get used to handling it no problems. You know, turning the corner if you need to all of a sudden. It does it decently really well. Yeah, nothing to complain. And yeah, I'm happy with it. Taking this vehicle off-road. And I would say it 100% really handles great, to be honest, off the road. It's meant to do what it's meant to do, and it does. You know, it does the job really well. You know, don't hold too hard on acceleration, maybe. Then, except for now, you should handle really decently well. But obviously, if you get, you know, drive the vehicle more often, then you get used to it, and the handling looks even more better. Nothing much to complain. The brakes are really good enough for off-road. I think it does decently well, especially when it comes to acceleration on this vehicle. It does great. Get up to those speeds and climb up these hills, no problem. Even it can go up some rocks maybe a little bit. Not too much, but, you know, it can do a little bit and without any problems. Great off-road. So I'd like to give my final thoughts on this vehicle. But the main question, is it worth it? And you know what, for what it is and what it's meant to do, I will go over yes. Sure, $1.8 million is enough, but I think you get what you're paying for. It does great on-road, off-road. It has some decent amount of customization options. Not loads, but it's not the main priority for the vehicle anyway. So it still has nice liveries and spoilers if you take it out for races. And I think you can take it out for races, probably. You can take it out some courses. It is a good enough vehicle to do that. Maybe just some courses might not be at its best, but it can definitely do some of them and get you some first places, I think. So it is a great vehicle for that, for racing. There's barely any complaints. You know, it does what it's meant to do and it does. So that's how I look at it in my opinion, so I hope this video helped in any way. If it did, make sure to give this video a like. If you're new here, maybe subscribe is up to you. If not, check out the playlist here. Click on it, scroll through, something might be there. Thank you for watching this video everyone.